What's up guys? I know it doesn't feel like turkey season with this winter storm, but it is right around the corner. The good news is I've got a pretty cool video for you guys today that will hopefully help ease some of that pain. I held on to some footage from last year from a couple different hunts in order to get you guys pumped up for the upcoming season. There will be two hunts in this video, one from Minnesota and one from Nebraska. Both are from late May of last year. I hope you guys enjoy the hunts and I hope it gets you excited for the upcoming spring. Minnesota boys. I literally just came in on this public land. <laughs> I flipped up that fan. He came running right in. I just plugged him at like 10 yards. <laughs> wow. And just flew out of a tree right there. What a morning. I'm shaking like a leaf. 
let's go check him out. That was awesome. There he is. Didn't go far. The elusive Minnesota Tom. I've been struggling in Minnesota this year. I've probably hunted a total of three weeks straight. Every morning when I was back in college, I was hunting and I just couldn't make it happen. I was so tired this morning too. I've been working all week and I almost didn't get up. I missed my first alarm, finally got up at 4.45. I could shoot at 5.20, got out here late. Just heard one goblin, threw up the reaping decoy, called him in. Perfect. Check his hooks out here. Just a beautiful bird. And a beautiful morning. on some public land. Beautiful morning, look at this. Is he pretty nice or what? Oh yeah. Shorts, turkey hunt, I'll take it. That'll do it. This will be pretty much it for me this year. As far as turkey hunting goes, I might get out one more time in Nebraska. I'm not sure yet. Maybe next weekend we will see. Hopefully I do. And hopefully I can spark one in Nebraska too to close out the season. All right guys, I'm almost back to the truck. What a fun morning. If that doesn't get you fired up, then I don't know what will. Thanks for watching guys. All right guys, I'm back in Nebraska. Um, I was hunting this morning. right now I'm just gonna grab something to eat when I pull up to the property and then I'm gonna head out and see if I can strike something up or spot anything and this will be my last time hunting Nebraska this year so hopefully I can close it out with a bang I just was having lunch on the back end of my truck on the tailgate and I looked out into the field and there was four or five toms out there so I'm gonna get my stuff together get everything ready I'm gonna head down this fence line and try to make a move on them and see if I can make something happen I just crawled up this fence line and I see the group of toms out in the field. I'm probably going to try to use the topography of the field and get closer to them and then pop the decoy up and see if they have any interest in it. We'll see if this works.
they're about 200 yards down in the valley. And I showed them the decoy, and it looks like they like it. I can't see them now because there's a deep valley in front of me, so they're either gonna pop up right in front of me here, or they're gonna pop up to my left. I need to get set up. That would indeed be a Nebraska Tom, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my buddy Michael Bach. <laughs> You're the man. He set me up with this land. I've had one of the best years of my life. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, take the turkey call out of my mouth. I was on one of Michael's pieces of ground and there's like four or five towns out in the field and I just crawled up to him with the reaping decoy and they swung around me, which I thought they would because I was on top of the hill. They kind of swung on the side of the hill at like 40, 50 yards. I called, he just popped his head up just enough and I shot him. So. The dirt roads were a little gnarly this morning. <laughs> 